you made some players here, household names, fan favorites. Let's talk about some of them. A guy you affectionately call the junkyard dog. Jerome Williams, the, the night of the trade was consummated with Detroit. Jerome Williams got in his car and drove from Detroit to Toronto in a snowstorm. And then he actually played. And uh, I mean, he was all over the floor. He was so energized and so enthusiastic and so personable. And he really was an ambassador for the Raptors, not only on the floor, but also off the floor. Uh, another guy who, who loves being here, a guy you called the Red Rocket. Yeah, my guy, Matt Bonner. We shared many a sandwich, because he loved sandwiches, as we know. His legacy in a Raptor uniform was standing up to KG. And, and that night here at the Air Canada Center with Minnesota and the Raptors, when KG went down and Matt Bonner stood face to face with him, he got ejected, he's given high fives through the tunnel, and it was a great, great moment, in my opinion, for Raptor ball, especially Matt Bonner, who, by the way, was a very good player shooting the three rock. Give me some adjectives for the guy you call Mo Pete. Yeah, MP3. Um, for our generation that remembers what an MP3 player was. was, but Mo Peterson three. That's why I called him MP3. And he had some really unique plays, including one in Washington where Michael Ruffin of the Wizards thought the game was over, threw the ball up just to kill the remaining seconds. And Mo Peterson caught the ball, you know, twirled and just tossed it, launched it, and it went in. And I went absolutely bananas. And uh, to this day, Mo Peterson says it's the best call he's, he's had. From MP3 to CB4, Christopher Wesson Bosch. Yes, uh, Chris Bosch. What can I say about CB4? The Bosch pit at the uh, Air Canada Centre. And uh, I remember his first game against the Nets in 2003, October 31st. He became one of my closest friends as far as a broadcaster player relationship. You know, to me, he epitomized everything good for an NBA player. He was uh, great in the community, he was educated, he wanted to know about Toronto, and you know, he came here, remember, he was only 18. And so, I mean, to see where he was, and then, and with the Miami Heat, of course, I think he's got a legitimate shot at joining Vince Carter, and now Tracy McGrady in a Raptor uniform in the Hall of Fame.